everyone, I am currently staying at the Ramada by Wyndham Athens Club in Athens if you haven't guessed. It's not in the centre, it's a little bit out but I thought today I would do a hotel review. This is something um, new that I want to do, a new series of just like hotel reviews because I don't know about you guys but when I go somewhere I always look up videos of the place I'm going to stay. So I just thought it would be super exciting to do something like this. Um, I'm just here for a few days as I mentioned but it's such a nice hotel and I'm going to give you some more information on it. So the first thing I want to talk about is the location of this Ramada. It's not actually in the centre of Athens, it's about a 30 to 45 minute drive and it's on the coast, specifically on the east coast and the town that it's in is called Matai. The reason that I'm telling you about the location is that if you're hoping to go into Athens and see the city centre, I don't think this is the place for you. But if you're looking for a getaway near Athens with an amazing view, pool, sea vibes, then this is definitely the place to come. Obviously, if you're not too bothered about sightseeing in Athens, then you should still come here because you could make a day trip to Athens or you could even go twice or three times, but it is just quite far to go if you're planning on going there every single day. The taxi driver we had from the airport told us that sometimes it can take an hour from Matai to Athens, depending on traffic. So here's the beautiful outdoor pool. There is a pool bar and there's loads of sunbeds. We never ever had an issue getting sunbeds. This is the bar upstairs and this was like one of my favourite places to come and get an iced coffee and just sit outside. Um, if you keep watching I'm going to take you out onto the balcony part and it just has the most stunning views, just look. The strangest thing about this hotel is that we thought that it was so quiet, which we loved. Like I love a hotel like this. I get really claustrophobic. I don't like a lot of people in one place. I get anxious. So this was just like the best situation I could have asked for. When we checked out, the receptionist told us that the hotel was actually fully booked. It was full and they were so confused too as to why no one was like by the pool or chilling at the hotel. Obviously everyone was going out. This is a closer look at the pool, you've got the showers and I mentioned it being quiet, it looks empty here but this is because I think it was really early, yeah the bar wasn't even open at this point. Um, there were like quite a few people around the pool um, in the day so it wasn't like completely dead because I know some people can dislike that as well, it's like the other end of it being busy is it being absolutely empty but it wasn't, it was literally in between which was lovely and then you can come out here onto the little pier bit, um, I don't know what this is actually called, it's not a pier but it's like um, part of the hotel where you can come down to the sea. There's also plenty of sunbeds here. This is one thing I love about this hotel. They have sunbeds everywhere and it's so easy to get one. I saw quite a few people sunbathing on these specific ones when we arrived. This is the view of the hotel from the back and if you keep watching I'm going to kind of take you around the hotel, show you the indoor spa and I'm also going to show you the local area and talk about things that you can do. Pool towels are free and you just collect them from the swimming pool bar when it opens at 10am. There are three options for your stay at the Ramada here in Athens and you can either go breakfast only, half board or all inclusive. We just opted for breakfast but as you can see they have some um, little pool snacks there for the all inclusive people and there's lots of alcohol and drinks to choose from. And now I'm going to take you into the buffet restaurant. This is where they serve breakfast. It's on the ground floor on the same level as the pool. And they also serve dinner here. The breakfast variety was so good. There were bacon, eggs, mushrooms, um, the typical kind of English fry up stuff, all of the different breads, toast, cereals, pastries, donuts yogurt, fruit, whatever you can think of, they had it and they also had different types of juices, apple juice, peach juice, orange juice. So yeah, I was really happy with the breakfast here. Another thing I loved about this hotel was just like the decor and how clean it was. Like everywhere, including the rooms, were so clean. And as I mentioned, the decor was really nice. And I just mentioned how clean the rooms were. So it is time for the official room tour. We stayed in room 307, which was a premium sea view room. And I know that it sounds bougie, but it was so affordable. So when you walk in, you've got this huge mirror wardrobe which is really nice we've unpacked some things in there straight ahead is the bathroom which i'll show you after we took this ironing board out we've been here already for a night so it's not like as it looks when we came in but it pretty much is but they give you an iron and ironing board which is just amazing shout out to them i really needed that last night we've got a little seating area over here i love the wallpaper we asked for two single beds i guess 
I guess this is two single beds. We're sharing a duvet though. But yeah, there's actually really a lot of room and the beds are so comfortable. Did you think they were comfy, mum? I found that bed so comfortable. I loved it. They've given us some fresh towels, which is really nice. And then you've got a dressing area over here. I really like that this bin has like recycling option. I've never seen that in a hotel. That's really, really good. We've got free Wi-Fi. We've got a flat screen TV. We've got a mini fridge. We've got a kettle, which is the standard. I love this mirror. It's huge. Oh my God, you can already see the sea view, but I will take you out there in a minute. Um, excuse, oh, free slippers is always just amazing. Lovely sofa, lovely cushions. And then yeah, here we've just got this huge, huge, huge like window, like this is like doors. We've got a window there. I love the curtains. It's so clean. Um, I'm gonna take you out to what is just the best view. One of the best views I've ever had in a hotel. Um, this is a huge balcony that we have. Let's go out. We've got a lot of privacy here. And look at this view. So there is actually a private beach at this hotel, but as you can see, the tide's been in quite a lot, so there's not really um, much of a beach there at the minute. It's supposed to be five star. And this is the bathroom. It's really nice and clean. It's very outdated actually compared to the rest of the room, um, but it does the job. The shower isn't great if we're honest, which does let it down, it's a shame. Um, I'm not like fussy or like too crazy about whether the shower's a lot but it's like really really low power when you put the warm water on um so yeah i'm not sure like if that's just a area thing or if the hotel could improve on that i'm not sure yeah and as i mentioned we got slippers so love it right my mum is here to tell you all what she thinks about <laughs> oh that was so cute <laughs> the ramada that we're staying at your honest honest opinion opinion your honest review yeah, hotel's nice. Um, I class it as a five star, but I would personally class it as a four star because there are you know, little bits that could be improved, improved on. But uh, overall, it is, it's lovely. And out of ten? Eight. I would agree. Yeah, I think so. And to get the full hotel experience just for this video, and no, I'm joking, I just really needed a massage. Um, we went to the spa, so this hotel has a spa, which is amazing, but I'm not gonna lie, it's hard to find, there's no signage. Um, but actually you have to go near the reception and then down this lift, and here you are into the indoor spa. And if you're a guest here, you do have to pay to use this indoor pool. But obviously, if you have a massage or a treatment, then you can use it for free. And there's also a little hammam, which I'll show you, and a hot tub. This is also where the gym is. This is free to use for any of the guests. And I did see quite a few people using this while I was there. And the reason that we actually ended up getting massages is that there's someone from the spa that comes around the pool every day and basically gives you a 15 minute massage for free as part of your hotel stay. I don't know if this is just a one-time thing they were doing while I was there or if they're always doing this, but um, my mum loved it. <laughs> and here's the hammam I was telling you about earlier. It's quite small. The evening entertainment seemed to be a hit. My mum absolutely loved it. The singer was really good to be fair. <laughs> Anyway, now it's time to head out of the hotel and talk about the local area. So as I said, the hotel is located in a place called Matai and the area felt really authentic and it was Mediterranean, which was so nice. Um, but the only downside is there aren't many places or restaurants to choose from. So this is a lunch bar we went to called Locus. Um, we actually ended up going here twice because a couple of the other places were shut. So I don't know if they just shut because the place was quite quiet, like the area. We also ended up finding this really nice seafront restaurant that I'd highly recommend if you visit. And it's Siama. It's right by the seafront, as I mentioned. And it's only about a five to 10 minute walk from the hotel. Literally, you turn left when you come out of the front of the hotel and you just walk straight down. And look at this view, it was so nice. The food and drinks were so delicious. This was my prawn linguine and my mum had the pesto. She loved it. I had a few Aperol spritzes. Local to the hotel is this little port on the other side. So if you turn right when you come out of the hotel and there's loads of tiny little boats here. I don't think you can go on any like day trips from here, but I could be wrong. I do know that the hotel offer you private like boat hire. So it could be that that's from this port, which is super close. 
and there's also a couple of beaches nearby. So now it's time to tell you how much we paid for three nights in this hotel. It's a five star hotel and I paid a total of £384, which is £128 per night. And although this may seem a lot, this is a sea view room in a five star hotel. And split between two, it's £64 per night, which I don't think is bad at all considering the price of hotels in England where I live. Um, so it was a total of £192 for three nights for two people. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you would stay at this hotel and whether you think the price is reasonable for what you get. Hopefully there'll be more hotel reviews coming soon and I hope that you guys like this new type of content that I'll be producing.